Hello, I'm Tracy May Harriet, International Trainer for Elizabeth Arden Pro. Thank you very much for tuning in today to our instruction video for our hydrating peel. The treatment is called our Power Packed Lunchtime Peel and I'm looking forward to taking you through the step by step. This is a customised facial peel performed to balance the skin's conditions. It will intensively exfoliate, plump and volumise the appearance of the skin leaving lasting hydration and a smoothing skin finish. As we know, no two clients' skin is the same, so this peel will be customised to each client's individual needs. Before starting your treatment, check with your client to be sure they are fully understood and comply with the pre-peel instructions. The most important step in any Elizabeth Arden Pro treatment is the client consultation. Ensure you have completed the skin analysis and consent form and have obtained your client's signature for their treatment today. Please ensure you have all the items you need provided in your supplies list so that you do not need to leave your client during the treatment. And please note that we do not use hot water, hot towels or steam during the cleansing procedure or removal of any of our peel products. I've sterilised my hand and I'm ready for the treatment to start. Apply two pairs of vinyl gloves to your hands at the start of the treatment. Mix two to three pumps of your chosen Elizabeth Arden Pro facial cleanser with a small amount of water in your hands. Please note that I'm doing this away from my client to ensure that no water gets on her. You only need water on your fingertips, remember, not too much water. Gently and thoroughly cleanse the face, neck and décolleté, ensuring you cover all small areas such as the top of the lip and down the central part of the nose. Remove the cleanser carefully with pre-dampened large cotton pads and blot the skin dry with a large facial tissue. At this stage, we colour match our client for perfecting minerals. This is our finishing product that is a colour skincare mineral so this is the ideal time to check the shade just on the cheek area by the jaw so the end of the treatment you know you've got a perfect match. Following this we then perform a second cleanse to remove any further traces of impurities and the minerals from the skin. Remove the cleanser with pre-dampened large cotton pads and blot dry the skin with a large facial tissue. Now to perform the hydrating peel. Ask your client to keep their eyes closed. Prep the skin with a pre-peel solution using uh, two cotton pads. Rub lightly and evenly in a very methodical sequence over the entire application area. Cover half the face at a time down to the clavicle and back up to simply ensure that no area has been missed. When you do the top lip, ask your client to take a breath in and on their out breath, wipe the top of the lip just so that they don't smell the pre-peel solution too much. Then blot the skin lightly with a large tissue. Now I'm going to apply a barrier gel to the outer corners of the eye crease, to the full lips and around the base of the nose and also put barrier on any area that you do not wish to peel. Ask your client to keep their eyes closed throughout the entire treatment and imply cotton pads for eye protection. Cut the pads into half moons so that the lid is covered but the skin underneath is exposed. Place two to three pumps of your hydrating peel into a small dish or measuring cup. Please note if you are performing the multifunctional peel you would apply in the same way. Then most importantly set your timer for a maximum of three minutes. The treatment time can be reduced if you wish when starting the peel program but never increase to go over three minutes. 
Never perform a peel without a timer. Have everything you need close by to your client. Your application brush, glycolic applicators, product and plenty of dampened pads ready for a quick removal. When you're ready, start your timer. Apply hydrating peel gel, keeping the cup very close to the client's face so not to drip anything. Use a disposable mask brush to apply the gel in a thin layer. Start around the outside of the client's face, then around the mouth and nose, and finally the cheek area. Take any excess gel onto your two glycolic applicators, and once there's an even application, ask the client where they can feel the most sensation. And on that area, use your glycolic applicators in a circular movement over the layer of peel, moving all around the face. We always make sure to only peel one area at a time. If the neck and decollete are also to be peeled, do this on a separate three minute application so that you may keep a close eye on skin reaction after the application has been removed. What is very important to look out for is if there are development of localized redness or what we call hot spots, this may be a sign of an uneven peel penetration. Check for erythema or redness. If erythema develops, please remove the peel gel immediately within that area. If you're performing the, for the full time, remember your timer will sound at a three minute maximum. After the three minutes, thoroughly remove any remaining gel with plenty of moistened cotton pads following the same sequence used to apply the peel gel. Remember this as necessary until all the peeling gel has removed. Never use the same pads more than once. Please note the removal technique. Wipe, then fold, then fold and throw away. Wipe away to ensure all peel is removed. I'm now going to remove my top pair of gloves to ensure I do not place any peel gel back onto my client's skin. Cleanse the skin with the appropriate Elizabeth Arden Pro Facial Cleanser and remove carefully with dump and pads. Then blot dry the skin lightly with a large tissue. In most cases, the skin can now have a further treatment with one of our specialised peel pads. Always ensure your client's skin reaction. We expect the skin to look glowing and maybe slightly tingly. If this is the case, you may proceed with the peel pad application. If the client is quite sensitive or having a peel for the first time, you may wish to have this as an optional stage, but please use common sense caution. Take one peel pad chosen to the skin condition needs. You do not need to use more than one peel pad. Gently wipe the pad over the entire peeled area using both sides of the pad. Please note this product contains an alpha hydroxy acid or an AHA that may increase your skin sensitivity to the sun and particularly the possibility of sunburn. Use a sunscreen, wear protective clothing and limit sun exposure while using this product for a week afterwards. The client will experience a tingling or stinging sensation as this is applied. Ensure not to overlap the areas but to use a smooth, even wipe and allow the product to dry on the skin surface. Now you remove your final pair of vinyl gloves. If this is your client's first peel, you may prefer to use Barrier Repair Complex in place of the chosen skin corrector depending on your client's skin sensitivity. Now I'll complete the treatment by applying two pumps of cellular recovery serum over the entire area. This will soothe and encourage a nice calm feeling to the skin. Apply just one pump of smoothing eye serum around the eyes. One pump is about the size of a garden pea and this is all that you need for both eyes. Use our signature piano finger movements around the eye area and knuckling the frown between the eyebrows.
Now use one pump of your chosen corrector serum over the entire area. Finish with one pump of triple action protector to the entire area. Be sure that you have not missed any area and start with pressing it into the skin then blend it away evenly into the neck and the face. Now we're ready for an application of the perfecting minerals for topical skin protection. Since I chose the shade during the cleansing stage, I am now able to use the perfect colour match for my client. Perfecting Minerals comes in a choice of five shades, followed by our finishing touch. It is very important to give your client home care advice. Complete the skincare program form so that your client can use the correct products at home and between visits to you. Remember this is a treatment that is sold in a course and we advise weekly treatments when using the hydrating peel. So ensure you have your appointments booked with your client. Thank you so much for tuning in to our coaching video for the hydrating peel, our power packed lunchtime peel. We hope that your clients enjoy their skin results and see you next time.